Have you ever been looking for bars on Google Maps and said to yourself, gee, it'd be great if I could scrape all this data and use it in my own application? If so, you've probably looked for Google Maps scraping on Google, and you've probably come across some of these super sketchy looking extensions that are not offered by Google. And what they do is you install them in your browser and they automate your browser talking to Google like a robot, which usually leads to your IP address and or Google account getting banned which is completely unnecessary when Google offers a first party platform for scraping data right from Google Maps via API. They even offer you a free $200 per month, so it's completely free to scrape a good amount of data from their platform. Just check out the Places API, I'll put a link in the description, and check out these before you begin instructions you need to set up your Google Cloud Console to work with the Google API. And here we want to look at place search so we can do some scraping of businesses we're interested in. Specifically, we want to look at the text search, I'll go into this later, and how we can use this API endpoint to simulate what all those illegal screen scrapers were doing. Specifically, we're going to take advantage of this type search option here, which allows us to do a deep crawl of businesses from Google Maps matching a particular category like bar, restaurant, retail, etc and we just have to provide it a location like a major city like New York or wherever you are in the world. And you'll see here from the API documentation that they give you a radius and you can put up to 50,000 meters, which sounds like a lot, right? Well, unfortunately, this is too good to be true. And let me show you why. So I'm gonna demonstrate accessing this Google Maps endpoint here, but through the CC data platform, it's just gonna access the same URL, but this offers me a nice client to provide a demonstration with. You don't have to use the Steve C data platform, just learn from the concepts in this video. Disclaimer, I own the Steve C data platform. So here I'm just gonna paste in my API key and you'll see that the platform will give us the URL it's gonna to call to Google Maps. And then one thing I wanna do is get the latitude and longitude I need for my future queries. And one trick I can do is I just put in New York as the query and hit enter and Google Maps will give me back the coordinates of the city, as well as the bounding box we're gonna to touch on later. So this is really useful if you have a list of cities and you need to get the coordinates from, you can just plug them in here and Google will give you back the coordinates. Then we can plug in the latitude and longitude to the API, which is what it's gonna search for, and then erase the query here, and I'm gonna put in a business type, like bar. You can click this link here and see all of the possible types of businesses that Google Maps will return. So I'm gonna paste this in and in conjunction with my coordinates, this should give me all the businesses that are bars within 50,000 meters of New York City, right? So it looks good, I get 20 results here. I can see the names of these bars and these are definitely bars I've been to before so I can verify this data is quite valid. And I can see other fun things I get back like the coordinates, the full address, and I get back a few other fun things like reviews, if it's pricey or not, etc. And I can download this as a CSV file However, I'm only getting 20 results back. So you say to yourself, well, no worries. I just need to get the next page of results. So I copy this next page token here, and then I'm gonna paste it into where I'm prompted for pagination token. And then this will get me page two of the results and give me another 20. So this looks good. I get a different result of 20 here. So great, I can just keep passing in the pagination token and eventually I'll get all the thousands of bars in New York. So I'm gonna copy and paste this again and then get my third page of results. Here we are, another 20. So now I have 60 results total and now I'm gonna get the next page of results. But wait a minute, there's no more next page token. Google stopped returning results after only 60 and I know there are a lot more than 60 bars in New York City, speaking from experience. So for whatever reason, Google caps each search results to only 60 results regardless of the radius set to 50,000 meters. However, what Google does not limit is the number of searches we could do for each coordinate pair. This article I have linked in the description explains more. Basically, what we need to do to work around this 60 limit is to build a big list of coordinates and then run the search for each coordinate pair. That will give us back 60 results per coordinate pair. So we put in 100 coordinates, we can get back up to 6,000 results. So this script here will help us out. We just put in the bounding box we got from the Google API earlier, and then we set a grid size of say a 10 by 10 search grid, and it will generate us the 100 coordinates we need to populate that 10 by 10 search grid. So here I'm just getting the bounding box again and querying for New York and following the instructions on the page I'm gonna to link to in the description. So if you need to generate your own list of coordinates, just check out the page link in the description. It's just free JavaScript you can run in your browser or on Node.js or wherever you need to. Just plug in the four values we have here and it'll give you back a list of coordinates. And I updated the script to set a grid search size of 10 by 10. So I have 100 different coordinates now covering New York City. 
So if I get up to 60 results back per search, I can get up to 6,000 results back from Google. So if you're writing your own code to do this, you basically want to go through this list of coordinates one by one, and then for each coordinate, plug it into the API call. So you run your search for that one coordinate, set the type to bar or whatever type of business you're interested in, execute the search, copy the results, and then look for the pagination token. If there is one, copy that token and then make another request to the API with that token. So you get the next 20, copy the results, grab the pagination token, etc., until you stop getting the pagination token. And then when that happens, just go to your next coordinate pair and repeat until you're done with your coordinates. So just code that up and you'll be all set. But if you're like me and lazy and rather not spend a day writing code, I do offer on the CUC data platform a workflow service which will do all of this for you. Disclaimer, this is a paid service. All you have to do is scroll down and look for this thing here called a formula called Google Maps Places Search Pagination. You'll see a quick description of it and just click the import button to add it to your account. Then I provide all my inputs like I did last time, such as my API key, but when it comes to location, I can now enter in one value per line. So I'm just going to copy my list of 100 coordinates and paste that in here. And the system is going to run an API call for each of those 100 coordinates, do the pagination loop, and then combine all the results together, just like our custom code would have done. And I can see the pagination token is set here to auto paginate with the next page token. Everything's all set. If you just leave the defaults, you can run the workflow and you'll get your data. And I can see I scraped a little over 2000 results, just shy of 6000, spending 217 requests to Google at $0.032 per request, cost a whopping $7 in Google credits. So now let's take a look at our final spreadsheet and we can see the data here. We have things like the address and the bar name. And then the other things that we saw on the other spreadsheet, like number of reviews, price level, stars, etc. What's really interesting, though, is the place ID, because this will allow us to remove duplicates. So I can do this in Excel, expand to the rest of the columns. And then you have to remember the column letter, which is super annoying in Excel. So select column V, which is for place ID. Uh, double check in your own spreadsheet and then click OK. And Excel will deduplicate your results. And now we have about 1,365 unique search results. So when using this search grid approach, you're bound to get duplicates because you're going to overlap other search coordinates. But we can see the data looks pretty good and we scraped about 1300 bars around New York City for $7 in Google credits. Not that bad and we didn't have to rely on a sketchy illegal screen scraper. And if you want to take things a step further, you can copy this list of place IDs and then check out the article in the description where you can look up business details for each place ID. And Google will give you back a little bit more details such as operating hours, recent reviews, the specific address, and you'll also get contact information like website and phone number. And you can plug in the website into an email scraper here and even get emails of local businesses. So thanks for watching until the end. Please like, subscribe, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below.